Okay. Howdy, folks. Do you ever get something in that's like, it's just so like, whoa, that it's like, man, I got to get on YouTube and tell everybody else about this. This is unbelievable. But yeah, we're talking about a solar battery today that has 20,000 cycle rating. What? If you're building a small solar powered system, uh, such as what I have in my barn, uh, and you're starting on a budget, or you have an RV and you want to build a solar package that will help to operate the RV with for, you know, power, then one of the things you're going to run into is buying batteries. And batteries are expensive, but the prices are coming down and they're getting better. The technology is getting better and the price is getting better. So this came in and I tell you, I'm in shock. I was really surprised. Yes, awesome price. but not just an awesome price the specifications on this the first thing that caught my eye 20,000 cycles yeah that's not like what you normally hear but it's also it's lighter than what you normally run into it's a fairly decent it's a group 24 so it's this, the old standard size kind of group 24 battery but that's still you know it's not a big package talk about size let's uh, measure this bad boy up but this thing is a little over 10 and a quarter in height, she's just a little eight and a half, and this way I think she's six, uh, yeah, six and, I'm gonna say six and a half. It's a small battery. Really, for what it is, and the size, the specifications, this is pretty, this is as small and as light as anything as I've ever seen. And the, like I said, the price is what, the two things, the price and the cycles really caught my interest, but there are other things involved, and it's these specifications of how small this thing is. Also, let's get to the next thing. Another specification that sort of caught my interest was the discharge rate. It is protected, so she won't discharge the point where it'll actually cause a problem or damage to the battery. It's all part of that BMS anyways, but just something, you know, keep in mind that it, yeah, it has that, you know. It, the, the handling strap, they didn't spend any money on it. They've just got a nice, easy-going, you know, strap here that's not going to bother you too much. They includes the bolts, a couple of sets of bolts, actually, so that you can tie this battery into your uh, solar system or whatever it is that you're going to be working with. Solar power system, I should have said that right, otherwise I've got planets and moons and things, whatever, you know what I'm saying. I try to stay focused, you know, yeah. squirrel. Now the actual physical weight is 23 pounds. That's still heavy, but for a lithium iron phosphate battery with 12 volt and 100 amp uh, hour uh, rating, Believe me, 23 bit, that's not heavy. That's that's pretty good. You know, a lot of them are seem to be coming in here have been a lot heavier than that. So I was, I was pretty amazed at the weight. Yeah, before I uh, even go on to the next specification, which is the temperature range of these things, uh, I'm gonna put a link in the description below and I invite you to take, that, take a look at that price. You know, uh, let's, let's talk reality here for a minute. When I was building my system and I've been adding these things to my uh, solar package in my barn to uh, you know store energy what do I do I look for the best price and the best features all pulled in together into one and I missed the target because at that time I had not seen this product so if I had I would have more of these out there right now than than what I do so yeah this is it's just one to pack up you know and add to the system same with an RV or anything like that. If you're going to buy, you know, if you're going to buy them, you're probably going to look for uh, one of the best prices that has these features. So, yeah, this is the one. Yes. This is also protected for temperature. And temperature is, uh, in this case, minus 4 to up to 158 degrees. And that's Fahrenheit. Uh, don't ask me in Celsius. I have no idea. Uh, Celsius just doesn't work. Not for me anyways. But, you know, yeah, good luck with that. The... Next thing we need to talk about, I guess, besides the price, the features and all that, it is, you know, it's a lithium iron phosphate system. It's, a, it's, it's just, the prices from what I've heard are coming slowly down on battery storage, that sort of thing, and this one just blew my mind. Yeah, let's get back to uh, the cycle situation here for a minute because if you're not familiar with these and you're thinking about building, like I said, a small uh, solar power package for around the house, the barn, or your RV, whatever, the first thing you're going to discover is AGM batteries have like 500 cycles and that's, you know, and that's, that's fine, you know, that'll give you five years of range on a car, truck, whatever it is you're using it for. Uh, solar in general, these type of batteries for the solar power systems, 
generally they cycle anywhere from three to five thousand, which is you know a pretty decent number. When this one came in and they said twenty thousand cycles, I just boom. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, that's the one I would want because that'll last forever around here. <laughs> So this is the way my, my basic solar package works out in my barn right now. And it's just like the diagram right here. We have a couple of panels, uh, a controller, and uh, an inverter, of course, and a battery. Now the battery or batteries, depending on you know how much you have uh, in what you want to invest in the system. So far, uh, I'm in Texas and we get a lot of sun and the sun is strong here. So it's like, I don't, I'm going to tell you right now, uh, unlike other areas, maybe you could have a lot of batteries and charge them up fully day to day because you have a tremendous amount of very efficient power coming in off of solar panels here. And it's actually, it's really surprising. In fact, uh, I'm getting ready to bump the inverter size up even. And also, because of the price of this battery, I might actually get online and order one, an extra one for myself because this price is just so darn good. Yeah, white watt cycle, watt cycle actually makes other sizes, but this is uh, this to me is the, is the right one because I can efficiently add a hundred amp hour to my system, and I can keep adding one hundred amp hour system, you know, batteries to the system, and building it up. The, one of the problems I've had in the last a uh, year was to try to figure out how many batteries can I handle because I noticed that I can fill the batteries up really quickly and again because of Texas but the other thing that is going on here is like today we're sort of getting brushed a little bit by some tropical storms or whatever and we're getting into hurricane season Ooh, I hate to say that word oh. but in the case of power loss this is a great situation now there's other applications uh, that uh, Watt Cycle mentioned to me, and that was uh, trolling motors. Uh, there are certain toys and things even that you know require this kind of a situation. And plus the off-grid system, which is like sort of like what I'm playing with, where uh, my barn is completely off-grid. It does not use power from the house at all. Actually, I bring power from the barn over to the shop here sometimes run power tools or whatever and also I run my air conditioning in the garage with uh, solar yeah <laughs> so I'm slowly trying to eat away at you know what I use for the grid power or whatever but being able to store is a big problem because the batteries cost so much but as I said the battery prices have been coming down the technology is getting better so it looks like <clears throat> this is just really surprising today, I, especially uh, especially these days with the cost of everything seems to be going up. The batteries are going down. What? <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, so I'm out in the barn with the uh, new watt cycle battery. This thing just seems like it's just for the price alone is just this is this is a godsend because this is one of the big problems with any even a small package like this where it's set up. The panels are not that expensive. They're up on the roof and they're doing their thing. This is a cheap control package, but it, it seems to work very well and it's M MPPT. So that's a great thing it says right there on it, but it also go up to different voltages. So the more of these batteries you have, you could go to a higher voltage. I do recommend if you can go to higher voltages, it, it is a better system all the way around and you don't have as much current. So you've got less heat, less problems. Anyways, I've got two batteries actually here stacked in parallel with in the watt cycles on both lines here. And then I have this uh, inverter here to supply 110 power. This is only a 2000 watt inverter, so it's not a it's not a biggie. This system stays on night and day and overnight whatever we we drop a little bit in voltage but not very much, very very little. And the daytime this thing is full all day long, especially with the sun coming in. But it allows me to do things such as uh, plug a light in. So I can bring my little light cord right here. I've got a small work light plugged in right here that I can plug in. Boom. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and maybe that's even better for you guys, huh? Yeah. And that allows the me to have power tools. I can run an extension cord out of here and I can plug power tools in, which I do. And also, uh, I'm charging all my battery systems. Uh, I've got uh, the tools like, you know, the Craftsman batteries, all that. It's all on this system so that it's night and day. It looks after itself. It's not on the, it's not on the grid anymore. And I kind of like that idea, but uh, adding these to the system, you know, you could multiply up your batteries at that price. You can add batteries and it's not going to cost you that much compared to what it used to be. So with this, this is to me, it's just absolutely, it's the answer. You know, it's like, this is what I'd like to see. Uh, 
if I if I'm right, I just checked this morning. Again, I think we're right at 199 or something. Man, that is an unbelievable price for a 12 volt lithium phosphate battery at 100 amp hour. That is a terrific price, and it's a good product. Uh, watt cycle. We'll get it. You know what? Let's go back to the shop and we'll get into the rest of this and talk about it. This this system is uh, charging right now as it as it is, but. That's because this was, uh, I guess when it came in, I don't know how empty it was, but it is, it's, it's charging up. It's going to take a while, but it is coming in. Uh, I've got about 8 or 9 amps coming up, uh, coming in from upstairs, and also, of course, uh, about 14 volts. So we're at 13 volts here right now, but because of the parallel situation with the wiring, it would be hard to say, because this battery behind me it was full when I started. This one was not, so, you know. Yeah, let's go. We'll just unplug and uh, let's go back to the shop and we'll wrap this up. Yeah. Yeah, the barn is hot today. That uh, battery is, it's a great price. That's the number one thing that always, you know, catches my interest. But uh, it also comes with a nice pamphlet or booklet, I guess you could say here. And the booklet explains everything from warranty to uh, don't hook it up and use it to start your car with. It's, that's not what they're for. You know, they're for storing energy from like solar packages, that kind of thing. And they also give different ratings of the different sizes of batteries that they offer because they do have a, a full line of different size batteries uh, for, again, storage systems, uh, which is uh, absolutely, you know, what this is all about. And they also have cautions telling you, you know, things like uh, don't slap the cables together and short them out. <laughs> yeah, I didn't do that. No, oh, not me. And it, it gives you a nice diagram back here uh, talking about uh, series and parallel wiring which you know you could get into uh, like series you get into series wiring if you can if you want to step up voltage when you go to higher voltage uh, it just seems to work better but you also have to re realize that you've got to spend more money got you need more batteries you know to build obviously a series system and that voltage that you're looking for you also want to get an inverter that's going to match that voltage so yeah, you, you're not going to be running around with a 12-volt inverter anymore if you go into series. Uh, you're going to be looking for a 24-volt or a 36-volt, 48, whatever, you know, a voltage uh, system for running an inverter off of that to create the power for, you know, household use or whatever. And oh, they've got a, a nice diagram here of the parallel, the series, and also talking about, how, you know, actually building out to where you have a 20-kilowatt-hour system. That'll run a house. Yeah. <laughs> And right now, my plan is to just keep slowly adding batteries. Uh, right now, I'm, of course, I'm doing parallel because I'm keeping that one system at 12 volts for the time being. But uh, down the road, I would like to step that up and go to the 36 volt, which uh, if you saw my barn there, there's actually a 36 volt system on the uh, right side of that shop, but it's not important. You don't really see it, but there is a 36 volt system there which is on a different set of commercial panels, which came in separately from the other ones I'm using. But the idea is to be able to have storage. And the battery thing has been one of the big, uh, you know, no-nos is the price of those batteries has just been, uh, I just can't afford to keep adding batteries to a system. And it was like, saw this, it was like, yeah, we can, we can build out a system and keep picking these batteries up, maybe buy one a month or whatever till I have the number of batteries, whatever I want. Uh, a lot of RVs sometimes will have six or even nine of these things, uh, you know, stored in the RV somewhere, running, uh, you know, parallel systems and whatever in order to, and put, you know, solar panels on the roof, and that way they can have all kinds of power to run their TV, their internet, and computers, and, you know, stuff like that. Cool. I, I like it. But the price makes it possible, you know, yeah. Anyways, uh, best price I've seen and uh, pretty decent uh, quality by the looks of it and uh, I will get back with you on that at some point in time you know, somewhere in the future we'll probably come back and discuss this a little more and see over the long period as to how things work out but I think it looks great uh, there is a warranty with the battery uh, I can't give you any real details on it because I don't really have uh, you know I took a look at the warranty and was like okay whatever I am not a big warranty person I'm just not when I buy a product I generally this is what I'm going to live with uh, if it really is bad, I'll take it out in the backyard and bury it in a hole someplace. <laughs> I generally don't call the manufacturers like, hey, I need a warranty claim on this, you know. <laughs> I just, just not for me. Thank you so much for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, subscribe, ring the notice bell. I'm out of here. Over and out.